It's Rob on the Road, discovering the stories that capture the unique spirit of Northern California. Here's KVIE's Rob Stewart. We have found a great escape for you today, a hidden alpine treasure nestled in the Sierra Nevada mountains just north of Lake Tahoe. Welcome to the pristine Independence Lake. And we're here with Jim Gaither with the Nature Conservancy. Good to see you, Jim. Nice to meet you, Rob. Welcome to Independence Lake. Oh, man, what a view. I cannot get over how beautiful this is. Yeah, this is an incredible place. This is a bit of old California. This is what Lake Tahoe was like 150 years ago. It's, uh, it's a remarkable place. Uh, old growth trees and a pristine lake, it's, it's fantastic. Now, the Nature Conservancy, this is a new effort Yes, this is a project uh, that the Nature Conservancy and the Truckee Donner Land Trust engaged in uh, for many years actually, working to conserve uh, the land surrounding this lake. And so that means it's in conservation and people get to come out here and have fun. Yes, yes, the, the intent of the preserve is to conserve this place as it has been for centuries and we're dedicated to providing public access. And we just had to get out on the water. We're here with Dave Mandrella, who's the project manager. Good to see you, Dave. Good to see you, Rob. Thanks for taking me out on the water. So impromptu, this is really great. And people can come out here and do this from when to when? Um, June, the, the July. The preserve opens uh, June 26th, weather permitting. Because of the snow. Uh, this year we open July 4th weekend. And uh, we close the preserve November 1st, and that's also weather permitting. And then the boats are out here every other week? Um, the boats and motors are available every other week. The kayaks? The kayaks are available all the time. And we also have pontoons um, for fly fishermen, float tubes. And for free, that's a pretty good gig. For free, no yeah. charge. So what do you think, Dave, when you're out here? I mean, we're just headed to the most beautiful view. Uh, every time I come out here, uh, I just you know look around and uh, um, the pristine, the beauty, the mountains. Uh, I, I've been to a lot of places uh, in the world in my career, and uh, this is definitely in uh, my top five in really? lakes. So what makes this so special to you, Dave? Um, it's the uh, high mountain environment, uh, the uh, clear water. It's crystal the clear trees, water. Crystal clear water. Um, the lake cold. is uh, 145 feet deep. I can't believe we are at 7,000 feet in the middle of an alpine lake. Yeah, it's one of the highest highest lakes in the Sierra, and uh, it's uh, two and a half miles long, half mile wide, 600 acres. So you came out here to be alone because your husband talks too much? Yeah. <laughs> are you having fun? I am having fun, and if they want lunch, they have to find me. Because <laughs> I got the food. <laughs> Smart person. <laughs> Well, have fun. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Your you first too. time here. I hope, hope you have a great day. Yeah. So why should people come check this out? Well, <laughs> life is short and this place is beautiful. There isn't much like this. And I'm lucky enough to have grown up in California. My grandparents told me stories of Lake Tahoe back 80, 90 years ago. And I, I just find this is this is a part of old California and this is it's something there's something beautiful and accessible. Snow capped granite peaks, aspen groves, wet meadows, old growth forest, a beautiful crystal clear blue lake filled with native fish. You know, for an ecologist and a nature lover, this um, this place is the top of my list. And for the explorer in <laughs> me, I tell you, this is right there with it yeah. for me as well. Jim, thank you so oh, much. You're welcome, Rob. For bringing us to the beautiful Independence Lake just north of Lake Tahoe. Good to see you. Thank you. To explore other places with Rob, log on to kvie.org slash Rob on the Road.